Okay, you guys, what is up? Naruto chapter 574. This chapter, it was okay. It was okay, as in, like, okay. Like, uh, maybe, like, a C grade, you know? Like, out of A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, you know, C. Because, reason being is because even though, you know, you know what, fuck it, let me go into the synopsis, and then I'll, I'll go I'll go off from there. This chapter starts off, and it starts off on some carning, uh, kind of like I can. And that's the problem I have with uh, relationships in Naruto. If they ever, if they, if they ever actually exist, they're really high school ish in the sense of, oh my god, he's so cool, or he looks so good, and blah blah blah. So Karin's doing the whole, the whole entire thing, like she's looking at Sasuke's portrait, and then you know, I mean, it's like, eh. well, no, I shouldn't say. Uh, all the relationships are that way in Naruto. What I should say is that the ones pertaining to the younger generation, and you know, so like sh she's looking at uh, she's looking at Sasuke's photo, and then you know, like oh my god, and then she's in prison right now. She cuts off the photo and etc. Then they go into. Uh, oh, by the way, I must say, um, when it comes to relationships, the only one that I actually you know would see plausible. Because I don't really give a shit about this whole entire uh, Naruto pairings. I really don't care. I really don't care. I don't. When people ask me, they're like, Dude, man, what fucking pairing are you, man? Naruto, Hinata, or Naruto, Sakura. Or Sakura and Sasuke. I'm like, dude. Ten Ten Rock Lee, shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck up. Ten Ten Rock Lee. So, fuck that. But, um, with that being said... Uh, the one that I do, the one that, in my opinion, makes the most sense is Naruto and Hinata. The reason being is because that relationship is more, um, it's more of a commitment, whereas Hinata is actually willing to sacrifice her life for Naruto. She's willing to give her life for the, for the one she loves. That's more of a commitment, kind of like a marriage in a sense. From just from her end, from Naruto's end, Naruto just doesn't really give a shit, right? Naruto is all about Sasuke. He's straight queer. It doesn't matter, all right. But from Hinata's perspective, it's more of a commitment, more of a marriage, and that one makes the most sense to me. Whereas you know the others seem like really high schoolish, like 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 even even Sakura's and Sasuke, it seems really high schoolish. Where the only reason why Sakura really liked Sasuke was it was because he looked cool, or like he was cool, or he looks good. That's it. That's really you know, that's it. Anyway, that being said, the chapter then goes into Suigetsu and Jugo. And remember, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. So you know, yeah. All right, now um, it goes into Sa no, it goes into uh, Suigetsu and Jugo, and then they they have a little scuffle at the entrance of uh, Roshimaru's hideout. And the thing is, Suigetsu own Jugo, like, quick. I'm like, really? Like, uh, fuck it. But, um, apparently Sui gets to find some, uh, scroll that uh, Orochimaru wrote conveniently, and then conveniently, this scroll has something that can change the war. Conveniently! It can just alter the tide like that. So, they're gonna give it to Sasuke, and, uh, and they're going to Sasuke, right? Sasuke is being confronted by a bunch of uh, Zetsus, right? And then these Zetsus uh, were uh, spawns from the original White Zetsu, and so they fear that the White Zetsu might be in danger, or he's actually already dead, and then they go attack Sasuke. And then Sasuke rapes the shit out of them, real quick. He makes an Amaterasu fireball. He makes an Amaterasu fireball, like this. Mm, and then it disputes out for Amaterasu Shuriken. And then it hits all these Zetsus, and then they get fried. Fried. And then, basically, he uses his Susano. He grabs one Zetsu by the head, like this. And then, he uh, proceeds with the Shining Gun Dojutsus. Genjutsus him in the illusion. Forces him to talk about what's going on in the war right now. Like, what's Madara's, you know, plan. And basically, Madara's plan is to capture Naruto and Killer B. And then, Sasuke goes on this eternal... Sasuke goes in this, um... Eternal, not eternal, um, internal, thank you, internal, Jesus Christ, really, right? Uh, internal, uh, dialogue about how this is his dogma. This is Sasuke's will. Basically, his will, his goal is to destroy Konoha and kill everyone in Konoha. The reason being is because he wants to start the Uchiha clan anew. And the Uchiha clan cannot start anew if there are those who have the memory of the Uchiha clan. 
Thus, you will sever the bonds that tie the Uchiha clan to Konoha, and then that's when the restoration and the revenge of the Uchiha clan will, you know, take process. So the revenge of the Uchiha clan will be completed, and the restoration will start from there. That's Sasuke's entire, you know, that's his mind logic, right? You kill everyone that knows about the Uchiha clan, and then the Uchiha clan can start anew like nothing ever happened. That's Sasuke's entire thing. That's what he wants to do. Then he proceeds to slice the Zetsu. Fucking slices the Zetsu. And uh, and then there's a panel of Sasuke and his eyes on some like, I don't know what was going on there. It was like his eyes, like, I, yeah, I see it, and I don't know, some weird shit. And then they go into Itachi, and Itachi's on the way to, well, Itachi and Sasuke might confront each other. And that's the end of the chapter. Now, this chapter ultimately is okay. The beginning part was like, meh, really? Uh, even though Suigetsu being Jugo like that was a shocker. Uh, and then the whole entire thing with the Arm Cross and Shuriken was cool, but it wasn't like monumental. It wasn't epic in any way. It was just cool. You know, it was cool. It was something I expected Sasuke to be able to do, considering the fact that Sasuke has the best Arm Cross and control in all of Naruto, fuck period, and the story. So, that was something I could expect. Now, I do want to say a few things. First of all, Itachi and, Sa Ita Itachi and Sasuke meeting, if this actually happens, then the prediction of the person from that form site, one more would be correct. So, that means that this person and his information actually might be legit. The next thing I want to say is Itachi and Sasuke meeting, you know, there, there could be a Susano showdown. Uh, Sasuke's Eternal Mangekyou Sharingan Showdown versus Itachi's Mangekyou Sharingan, even though you can consider it Eternal, considering the fact that Itachi's no longer alive. He's a Edo Tensei revamped corpse. So you could consider it Eternal. I don't know. It, it, it depends, all right? Because Itachi, remember, Itachi just fucked with Sasuke, right? He let Sasuke win that fight. Itachi could go all out. But then again, I doubt that they're actually going to have a confrontation because Itachi did say that he was going to give all the burden to Naruto for that situation, all right? Itachi's dead. He has no place in this realm. The shoulders should be on Naruto when it comes to Sasuke. Um, what else is there? Actually, no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, Kishimoto, do not skip the five Kage fight. I swear to God. I swear to God. If you do. I'm gonna be very fucking mad. I'm right. I'm write you a fucking letter, dude. I'm gonna write you a letter, Kishimoto. Do not fuck with me on that fight. Do not. But that being said, the chapter and stuff was okay. It, it really was okay. Uh, mediocre. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for Naruto chapter five, uh, seventy-five. Oh, oh yeah. And by the way, if you're wondering where I, where I read the uh, manga. Uh, manga manga reader obviously because well you know manga stream are no longer doing big three and hunter hunter and etc so you know I have to switch side I mean I, ultimately I have like three or four or five sites I can I, I can go to so I'm not really sweating it so that being said King of Lightning rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys later signing off subscribe